Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Hello Capricorn Aquarius Cusp. This is going to be a reading for you from February 1st to February 7th. So please remember there's no way this can connect to every single person out there. Welcome Cross Watchers. And people, uh, Capricorn Aquarius Cuspers are people who have a birthday within three days of the sign changing from Capricorn to Aquarius. So the Oracle cards are here, all for you. The tarot cards over here, which will be the energies around you. You'll probably show up over here, though. So just take what you can use and leave the rest. There's no way this can connect to every single person out there, and maybe only some parts will connect. So the first one that comes up for you is judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So it feels like you are healing from something that you maybe judge somebody else on or somebody judged you on and it really hurt. So I feel like something is healing you to learn that you can't judge other people as well as other people can't judge you. We're all different in that sense. So purpose. I know what I am here to do. So somehow, somehow this judgment has brought you more purpose on what you're here to do on earth. Again, I don't know if somebody judged you or you judged somebody or it could be both of a situation, a dual judgment, but definitely it has opened your eyes to what you are want to do here. So doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. So doubt is a very strong emotion. It can knock you down. So it's best to accept doubt, accept that you can't know all the answers, nobody can, and just go forth with positive energy and try to release doubt. When you start doubting yourself or doubting situations, try to go away from that energy because it's really not a positive energy and it could hold you back, it could um, manipulate your thinking process, all sorts of things. It could just throw you off your purpose and it could also make you judge somebody so that's what I'm getting out of those cards so the first one we have for you is sky kitten so sky kitten is a couple things this could be immaturity this could be annoying childlike behavior or it could also mean that somebody needs to have more fun somebody needs to put themselves out there to enjoy their life so the star card is traditionally Aquarius, but I feel like in this deck it's Leo as well because of the Leo placement. So this tells me that somebody is becoming aware of their path. So between the path here and the purpose, I feel like somebody is becoming very aware of their where they want to go in life and what they want to do. So I do feel like somebody is getting over their doubt. I feel like somebody is kind of maturing. So the wheel... So this means that somebody is going to change their life path. I feel like whatever that judgment was, it definitely have pushed you to change your life. And I do, getting it very strong, a lot of you are changing your life. Because it's something that happened. So Five of Earth says that somebody is regretting that you're not with them anymore, I feel. Ver vice versa, the roles where they apply. But to me, this says somebody is spying on you. Somebody may be going to your house. Um, somebody is regretting possibly how they treated you, that they're not in your life anymore. So Sea Queen is somebody who's very emotionally balanced, very stable. I do feel like this person possibly could have cried a lot because of what happened. Whatever that is. So Fire King. Again, I'm getting a Leo feeling over this card and it's kind of confirming the last card so this is pride and ego so I feel like somebody is very emotionally balanced and very sad and somebody put their pride in ego and they got judged or figured out judgment too late after somebody moved on so two of C I am getting that this is concerning a love situation somebody who was in love and I feel like the pride and ego here didn't realize what they had until it was gone. So Earth King is somebody in heaven supporting you, somebody in heaven telling you they're with you, they think of you. It could be their anniversary, their birthday. Um, there's something about somebody with heaven that they wanted to come out in this reading concerning the love situation you got yourself into. So Six of C is a lot of tears, a lot of crying. We have, it's going over the Sea Queen. So I do feel like 
a lot of people cried because the sea queen cried where she was balanced and she thought she was going towards stability and something happened to where it shifted and changed the course of her life and it made her very sad so the next one you have is the hermit the hermit is virgo placement so virgo placement to me the hermit is when you withdraw and be alone is when you get your best thinking you get answers to the things that confuse you so i feel like other people try to tell you what to do other people try and guide you to do what's best for them but this says otherwise this says being by yourself you get thought process and clarity and the full moon is the 27th in february we do see the moon there so earth kitten is the universe sending something in to help you I don't know if it's a job, I don't know if it's a new friend, there's something the universe is going to gift you to help you get through the situation. It could just be strength. So then you have the Empress. So the Empress is somebody who is very nurturing, very loving, very maternal. This, um, she's very intuition she has really high intuition and she doesn't let people treat her less than the empress is very strong about her beliefs and what she's here for and who she allows to treat her how they treat her so something to do with that so i'm going to switch to the tarot illuminati now so so far this is a lot of females in here so you had the sea queen and you had the Empress. So something to do with females already. And then the Hermit, which is with retreating, getting answers, and immaturity, and the wheel. So somebody's life is changing. So the first one is Two of Cups, which you had the love card, I believe it was right here. So look at this. You have Two of C. So you have Two of Cups twice. So there's something around a love situation. You have the same card twice. So this is a strong love. I feel like something to do with medical right here. This could be something to do with past life. Where you were connected in a past life, I feel. And you are connected in this life. So I am getting the feeling, yes, of um, trickery that people were trying to stop this connection I feel and I am seeing Leo in there so yeah wow so the next one is the Sun this is the happiest card in all the decks so this is happiness and success so I do feel like Capricorn Aquarius Cuspers you are going to have a success in a love situation so the devil so wow you have the Sun and the devil that's so harsh when they come out together so the devil could be Capricorn in this reading or it could be addictions that caused an issue. Um, but with the sun coming out first, I feel like somebody is going to get control of their addictions. They're going to be able to keep them under control. This could be toxic people around you not wanting you to go towards your happiness. So I am getting that somebody is trying to stop you that doesn't want you to move into the Two of Cups. So Three of Wands says that the toxic energy could possibly be a third party trying to come in and cause conflict in this love relationship. So Prince of Pentacles is somebody coming in to offer um, something like somebody wants to date somebody. The Prince is usually younger than you, but I do feel like, and I mean, this is the only male energies we've had, the Prince of Pentacles and the Devil. So the Prince of Pentacles is somebody who has, um, they're young, but they're stable. They have coins. They have coins, basically. And they're going to offer a gift. So Four of Wands, this is marriage. So this is the marriage card, long-term commitment, celebration is what that is. So then you have Ace of Wands. So somebody is very attracted to somebody here that they want to marry. There's a lot of physical attraction. They feel desire towards this person. So King of Swords. So King of Swords is somebody who's very communicative. They are honest. They say what they want. This could mean somebody who's very good 
Um, they could have been traveled around the world. They have a lot of passion and they're very good at communicating when they want to. So I do feel like this could mean somebody is coming around to communicate a second chance possibly. So you have the, and they are offering, offering a coin or a gift of some sort to, to go towards marriage because they have desire and they want to be honest. So then we have Five of Swords. So Five of Swords is telling me there's people that are going to be conflicted about this situation. People don't want these two to be together. They don't want this marriage to happen. And you see there's people in the background. So Three of Pentacles tells me this person, these people could be from work. There could be work related somehow in the situation. Judgment. So you have judgment twice. So I do feel like there are people at work who have tried to interfere with this situation. Very strong. It came out twice. It tells me that these two people have a path and they love each other, but other people are causing issues and interfering, trying to stop that love situation. So Princess of Swords. So Princess of Swords is somebody who is younger than you, of course, and blocking communication. So I do feel like somebody has blocked the messages coming to them. This could mean somebody's spying as well, but I do definitely see somebody blocking somebody contacting them. Wow, in the world. So this is possibly marriage, but this is something changing. Somebody's life changing tremendously. I see a lot of Leo in this reading. A lot of Leo. So I do see marriage. I see somebody having to break away from a family situation possibly because they don't support the marriage. And I feel like there has to be boundaries set up and applied for somebody to go for what they want, basically. Because otherwise people are going to keep interfering. So let's see what cards come up in the Oracle of E. The Oracle cards. So the first one is Bunny Hop Jive. So this is the number four, which Bunny Hop Jive to me is a dance, but because it's bunnies, it's like happy-go-lucky, or it's like a rainbow. So this means, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Connection, like togetherness. This is two people getting together because they're meant to, is what I feel. So the next one is whoop whoop. So this is seven. This is something coming full circle, happiness, celebration, things going the way they're supposed to. And the next one is Magic Carpet 42. So look at, you have three fours in here. You have four, 43, and 42. So fours are usually master numbers. So it does tell me that you two are going to be able to master this love and master keeping other people away from you and the negativity if you work together. The universe is sending in a magic carpet to support you, to help you to feel like you're lifted above the other people, the drama, the people who are trying to stop you, the people who want to cause conflict. And so the universe, there's something about this relationship or this connection the universe is supporting and wants this to work out. So now I'm switching to the Whispers of the Ocean. Blend into the environment, 36. You have many skills and can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. So the octopus can fit into small crevices. They can make the color blend into the environment they're in. So it talks about the environment. I do feel like you have to be aware of the environment that you and this person, your loved one, are in because other people seem to be trying to thwart this or pass judgment on this relationship of some sort. So you have to pay attention to that. You can't just overlook it or act like it's going to fix itself. You have to be aware continually of threats trying to cause issues. So the next one is 32, which would be 5. Don't be afraid to totally immerse yourself in a project, interest, or goal. Give it 100% of your energy and you may find what your life has been hiding. So this is a whale tail, which is called a fluke. And because it's up out of the water, I feel like there's a lot of emotions. Change is going to come, but you have to deal with the emotions 100% to be able to move through this change. If you don't deal with your emotions, you're like thwarting yourself. 
you're going to hold yourself back because you think you can get through something, the change, without dealing with emotions. And you have to pay attention to your environment around you. Very, very, and just to safeguard yourself and your loved one from people trying to interfere. So the angels and ancestors card is Druid, hold the space. So this has a lucky rabbit's foot on there, which is kind of creepy, but in the 60s and 70s, people had rabbit's foots. They were considered lucky. And he has a light at his caducus. So, and the feathers, which is the divine. So I feel like the divine is going to guide you. When you feel in your gut, in your head, what to do, you should try to listen to that without doubting it, without questioning it, or passing judgment. Because I do feel like you're going to get downloads of when to stay still, when to move, what to do. You are totally going to get those with the feathers and the light, clarity, and the good luck. So you are being guided. You have that luck aspect in this relationship or job, whatever this is. So shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. So I believe you had the gifts in here. So this said skills. So yeah, you had, I thought you had the gift card twice. Where did I see that? Was it here? So I do feel like this is a second card. So this, um, see, is a moon in there. I see the moon over here, a vague sun over here. I feel like this is incorporating a lot of your qualities. You can blend into the environment. That's what this would mean. So blend into the environment and shape shifting. You have the adaptability to change and make yourself safe and make yourself prosper. You have the ability and skill set to protect your loved one and yourself. I see the wolf figure in here. I feel like this is an eagle. I see the feathers, the jaguar eye, the fox shawl around him, and the snake in there. This says you can change, and it's going over the change card as well. If you keep your emotions in check and deal with your emotions, you can totally conquer whatever this is to, to go to your highest good. I do feel like there's people around your situations trying to thwart you, but you have luck on your side. You have skills. You have gifts that you can, and you have luck. And those are really good things. So whatever your purpose is, whatever you are doubting, that you think you can't do. The universe is supporting you to do it. So I hope this connects. Capricorn Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you.